What's going on YouTube? This is your boy That Sega Reactions coming to y'all. This is why am I laughing already? I'm already like get ready to laugh. Okay, this is and I, I'm, I'm laughing because of the title already. Uh, this is Bill Burr's on movie raci, raci, racial stereotype. Why can't I? Bill Burr on movie racial stereotypes. This is about to be so funny. I already know it is because in my head I already know him. Like you know what I'm saying? Like so so. Him probably get ready to point him out is probably about to be super hilarious. I'm praying YouTube don't block it because they blocked my psycho dog. Y'all don't even know I did that one. I did the psycho dog and they just blocked it. And that's probably because I looked at the name and it said Netflix is a joke. And I think that that's the creator of that. So they might not block this. I mean, so don't forget that my Patreon is in the description. We get exclusive access, early content, and special requests. Um, you can also do PayPal. You can do um, Cash App. Any of those is cool, you know what I'm saying? Get you top priority. And also, uh, don't forget my P.O. box is in the description. Yeah, send me whatever you want to send me. Let's keep that P.O. box alive because I'm paying a month on that bitch, okay? So, let's jump into this. This, but man. All right, play. I don't know. I rented that movie. <laughs> I don't know. I rented that movie, uh, Pride recently. Have you guys seen that movie? Anybody see that? It's about the first all black swim team and the difficulties oh, yeah. they had to go through. Oh, that's with Terrence Howard. I remember through that. Being the first all black swim team. Let me ask you a question. How many. Have you guys seen that movie? Anybody see that? It's about the first all black swim team and the difficulties they had to go through being the first all black swim team. Let me ask you a question. How many of those white people are evil movies are they going to make? <laughs> it's like it's all the way down to swimming. You know? I'm starting to run out of white guilt, you know? No, it's like those movies, they started off unbelievable. Start off with roots, right? White guilt was at an all-time high. Mm -hmm. I can barely even watch it. I'm like, dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil. Okay, please. Please turn the channel. Oh, hold on, because I've never seen roots. All I know is that movie about seven weeks long. <laughs> so I ain't ever seen that movie. And I will not watch that movie. I'm high. I can barely even watch it. I'm like, dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil. Okay, please. Please turn the channel, dude. Please turn the channel. They still hit them. Fuck. Turn the channel. <laughs> it's going to be on all week. Jesus Christ. Turn the channel. Yeah. <laughs> There was like a football movie, then like Cuba Gooding wanted to be like a scuba diver. Remember that shit? And now it's all the way down to swimming, and I got. Pops, what movie was that? Cuba Gooding Jr. was. This? What, what movie was that? I know he played in something that was inspirational. I can't remember what it was. Though. And now it's all the way down to swimming, and I gotta admit, I don't think I give a fuck. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's a recreational activity. <laughs> Plus, I've been in pools. There's been black people in the pool, you know. I never saw any white guy, like, trying to, like, fucking, like, prevent people from getting into the pool. <laughs> it's like, are they just, like, making this shit up? I'm not, I'm not being a dick here either, okay? Just to clarify, you know, I just want to... You good, you brother. Just do your stand-up. You know, I was thinking it, and then you fucking said it, and then... I'm not saying that I don't think black shit people should be allowed to put on some speedos and go for a dip. I'm not saying that shit. I'm just saying. I ain't getting in no water. That's just stereotype right there. Y'all, anybody watching this know I don't swim. These movies, like the characters aren't even believable. Like they always have to have like that, the, the over the top, uninhibited white racist character, you know? You know that guy? He's a guy like, uh, he's supposed to represent all the white evil, you know? He's like the dude they always have, like, screaming during the movie trailer. They'd be like, they were the first all-black swim team. Get out of the pool! <laughs> he's got, like, a big vein in his forehead. He's just screaming shit, look, not even looking around, you know? Dude, it's ridiculous. Real racism is quiet. It's subtle. People look around first. Make sure that... No, sure I mean, well, there's disclaimers like, dude, you know, I'm not racist, but uh, these insert talk, name followed by but, but but facts, he, he right, and I don't know when this was made. I think they a little bit more blunt today, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying in a different era that we're in. I don't know exactly when this was, I'm assuming maybe two that early 2000s or something like that, but facts, like I said before, they they lurk. 
They lurk in the shadows. And then they usually say something like he, he just said, like... Fucked up conversation, right? That's how it goes down. Clear. There's disclaimers, like, dude, you know I'm not racist, but uh, these insert group name followed by fucked up conversation, right? Yeah, yeah. That's how it goes down. Not just some guy just standing... Oh, let me put a little bit more volume on this, y'all. Hold on. There, there's somebody mad about that right now. I can't hear. Shut up, I'm turning it. Please. Well, the honest thing is in those movies they're starting to give me a complex you know because anytime they do a movie about a group of people that thinks dumb shit about another group of people it's always like white dudes so it's like are white dudes the only ones who think ignorant shit about other people you know no Mexican guy ever walked up to somebody from India like dude what the fuck is that white dudes the only ones walking around why you guys don't eat cows what are you a bunch of fat <laughs> no, just balance the movies out a little bit. Like, just have some of the evil shit that black people say about white people, you know, when, when we're not around, you know? Like, like, well, what are some good examples, you know? <laughs> what I mean? You're hanging out, you're in a rough day. You know? What are some of the classics? You know, what smell like wet dogs, right? <laughs> you got headlights or something like that, right? Just, just slip some of that shit in there. Get out of the pool! Wash your hair, motherfucker! Right? Just <laughs> make it seem a little more... He <laughs> right. <laughs> Wet dog is one of them. Wet dog is one of them, play. Dude, I'm just saying, it's all the way down to swimming. Where, where the fuck do you go from there? We do, like, ping pong? They were the first all-black ping pong team. They're gonna steal the paddles. They're gonna steal the paddles. Show the white man your bed, ping pong. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not saying. Uh, I don't know. So he's just weird bringing this shit up. But no, I'm not saying white people aren't evil either. Because I know we're evil. I got that evil in me. <laughs> I do. I, that's why I can feel it. That's why I try to suppress it. I try to dress casual. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm serious, man. I tried a suit on the other day. I felt it coming up. Like, fuck, man. I want to take over some shit, right? <laughs> what to do. I want to go blue the lake, blame it on my secretary, you know? He's a very, he's very conscious of, of so many things. And to me, it's people like him who I'm super okay with. You know what I'm saying? Talking about anything on stage, you know what I'm saying, in terms of um, comedy, you know what I'm saying, like, that's why you shouldn't get offended, when you know where they really stand, you should be alright, I told my friends that before, I was like, if you don't understand what's going on out here for real, you can't play with me, my friend, me and him, always cracking little bitty goofy racial little jokes at each other, and it's just because he, in real life, like, when it comes down to the seriousness of it, he understands stuff. Like, all my white friends do. You know what I'm saying? So, they allowed to play with me. And we, you know, it's funny. Play. Dude, I don't like those movies when they make black and white people get along, man. Even those ones seem ridiculous, you know? Because it always has to be, like, some sort of lesson in those movies. Just like, you know, I never looked at it that way. <laughs> it's like that never happens, you know? Anytime I've ever hung out with a black dude, at no point during the evening is he, like, try to, like, teach me how to dance. You know? <laughs> you know that interracial footloose moment they always have to have in those movies? And I never go to his neighborhood and like try to like save a school, you know? <laughs> How many times are they gonna make that movie? You know that movie? The white person goes into the projects, they just have to make a difference. Yeah, yeah. You know, they yeah. just made that movie again with, uh, what was it, Hillary Swank? Blind so even No, no. To go see it? Paul, is that Freedom, freedom Riders? It's like, let me guess, she shows no. up and they don't accept her, right? <laughs> and she goes home, she cries to her effeminate boyfriend who's wearing sweatpants and he's cooking something for some reason, right? 
I but wait, I ain't even seen the movie. I know what he's talking about, but I haven't seen the movie. But he is so right. I bet you the movie is like that, though. I bet you the movie is like that. Listen to how he said it. And she goes home. Let me guess. She shows up, and they don't accept her. Right, right. right. Uh -huh. And she goes home. She cries to her effeminate boyfriend who's wearing sweatpants, and he's cooking something for some reason, right? And he convinces her. He convinces her to give it one more chance, right? So then she goes back down there. She starts throwing out their inner beauty. Next thing you know, they put a do rag on her. She starts fucking dancing. <laughs> I would know somebody white who actually did that shit, you know? She's like, ah, that's my guy, yeah, saves ghettos. That's what he does, you know? <laughs> sit around, I watch Sports Center, you know, he's in the projects every weekend. He's writing his name on the blackboard. My name's Mr. Michael. All right, who threw that? Who threw that? It's just annoying after a while, you know? And it always fucking works out, too. Anytime the white person goes down there, I want to make that, I want to see a movie where it doesn't work out. Like the white dude goes down to the first day, just gets the shit kicked out of him. You know? <laughs> yeah. Just leaving all negative. You can't fucking help these people, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gonna never make no movie like that. Goddamn word it. It's a train it all prescription. What? Oh, I wasn't even ready for that to be over yet. Everything that he said in that was so facts is funny. You know what I'm saying? Like he hit the he hit the uh nail on the head with that. You know what I'm saying? Uh and I I'm glad it went a different direction than I thought. I thought he was about to talk about like black people being scared to get in the pool. Like the typical. I love the direction that he went with his. That was amazing, man. That's that's Bill Birds. Bill Birds. That's call it Bill Birds. That is Bill Birds on movie racial stereotypes. Thank y'all so much for watching, man. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on all my social media platforms. Um, to the next video, I love y'all. Peace.